Well children, Nana Janet here again. Janet was the heron to others who don't know me. Uh, this is from Five Minute Stories. It's a collection of delightful tales. It's compiled by Miles Kelly. And the story I'm going to read now, I'm only reading one at a time at the moment. The Hill Man and the Housewife by Juliana Horatia Gatti Ewing. Enjoy it, Jude, Abraham and Jad. It is well known that the good people cannot stand mean ways. Now, there once lived a housewife who was a good woman, but gave only to others what she had no use for. One day a hill man knocked at her door. Can you lend us a saucepan, good mother? said he. There's a wedding in the hill and all the pots are in use. Is he to have one? asked the servant girl. Aye, to be sure, said the housewife. But when the maid was taking a saucepan from the shelf, she pinched her arm and whispered sharply, Not that stupid. Get the old one out of the cupboard. It leaks, and the hillmen are so neat and such nimble workers that they're sure to mend it before they send it home. So one does a good turn and saves sixpence for fixing. The maid fetched the saucepan and gave it to the hillman who thanked her and went away. The saucepan was soon returned, neatly mended and ready for use. At supper time the maid filled the pan with milk and set it on the fire for the children's supper. But in a few minutes the milk was so burnt and smoked that no one could touch it and even the pigs would not drink the wash into which it was thrown. You good for nothing, cried the housewife to the maid, and this time she filled the pan herself. You would ruin the richest with your careless ways. There's a whole quart of milk spoilt at that once, and that's two pence, cried a voice from the chimney. A queer, whining voice, like some old body who was always grumbling over something. The housewife had not left the saucepan for two minutes when the milk boiled over and it was all burnt and smoked as before. The pan must be dirty, cried the housewife in a rage, and there are two full quarts of milk as good as thrown to the dogs. That's four pence, said the voice in the chimney. After a long scrubbing, the saucepan was once more filled and set on the fire. But the milk was burnt and smoked again, and the housewife <laughs> burst into tears at the word, crying out, Three quarts of milk burnt for one meal! And that's sixpence, cried the voice from the chimney. You didn't save sixpence after all. With that, the hillman himself came tumbling down the chimney and went off laughing through the door, and from that time on, the saucepan was as good as any other. That's the end today, children. Thank you all. God bless. Speak to you soon. Be good for mummy. Bye.